One very common question Tommy talk patients usually have is how soon they can resume sexual activity after their surgery. This would depend on the uniqueness of each patient and on a few factors. The first factor is the extent of surgery. If your tummy talk was very extensive and it involved significant anterior muscle wall repair, what you call the rectal diastasis, and also maybe involving a few other procedures, like a BBL, for example, your recovery may take a little longer. It means you have to wait a little longer to heal well before you resume intimacy with your partner. The second factor has to do with individual healing. This is because we all have different healing rates. So for somebody, it may take four weeks. For another person, it may take six weeks. For somebody else, it may take some, maybe two months to be able to heal well, to resume normal physical activity. So this will depend on how well or how fast you are able to heal and recover before you are able to resume intimacy with your partner. Another factor to consider because of your uniqueness is your surgeon's advice. In the practice of medicine and surgery, every patient is individualized in our approach to how we treat them. So your surgeon understands your uniqueness. He would advise you appropriately on when he feels you can start intimacy with your partner and even every other normal physical activities that you were able to do before surgery. You would need to listen to his advice and recommendation for you. The common recommendation is to wait for at least four to six weeks before they resume intimacy. They are always like, doctor, when can I start getting down with my man? Four to six weeks is the general recommendation. Waiting to heal properly before resuming intimacy with your man is very important because resuming this activity too soon may pose some risk to you. And this risk could include increased pain, and discomfort that could prolong your healing period or your recovery. Resuming sexual activity too early after a tummy tuck surgery could also increase your risk of other complications like wound separation, wound infection, and bleeding. Again, you could also have compromised results. Coming in for a tummy tuck, what you want to achieve is an improved physique. So these results may be compromised if you start physical activities too early. You want very good outcome. You want your recovery to be as smooth as possible. So you will need time to really, really heal. In addition to following post-operative instructions, you would need to listen to your body. Our bodies speak to us. Our bodies define the language in which they communicate with us. If at all, at any point in time, you don't feel right, you feel something is not right, you will need to wait a little longer before you start normal activities, before you start to get down with your man. Your body will tell you, I have some degree of discomfort, I have some pain, you've not ill well, you still have some soreness in some part of your body. You will need to listen to your body before you engage in sexual activity after a tummy tuck surgery. So if something doesn't feel right within you, you will need to tell your partner, something doesn't feel right, please permit me, let us wait a little longer before we resume intimacy. To aid your recovery, to make sure that you are ready to resume normal activities and intimacy with your man, there are a few other things that you would need to follow apart from listening and obeying post-operative care instructions. Number one is that you will need to stay hydrated and eat elderly. This would help you to recover very, very fast. Number two, avoid strenuous physical activities as much as possible until you are fully recovered, listening to your body again in this instance. Number three, when you start to get down, you would need to take it slow. When you start sexual activity, take it slowly. Listen to your body. With any form of discomfort or pain, communicate everything that you feel with your partner. Remember, your health and well-being is very, very important to your recovery. You will need to ensure your safety and comfort. Your health and well-being would have to come first. So if you find this video informative and educative, I would want you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed before, like this particular video, share it with your friends that would benefit from it. Drop your questions and comments in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.